This week's Ion MPI is Milmax. Yes. Lady, first off, this logo is great. It is a really cool logo. What does uh, Milmax do? Okay, I think this is our first Milmax product. So Milmax, they're known for their connectors, and so when this popped up, I was like, I know exactly what this is and what it's good for. This is the 3305 um, sockets for mechanical keyboards. That's what they're uh, selling them as, and they look like this. And you're like, okay, so it's like a little round yellow thing. What? How to use that? Well. This is a kind of cool thing. So what you do is, um, it's a really nice rendered image. You can see on the left, there's a mechanical key that's about to plug into a PCB. And normally these mechanical keys are soldered into um, the circuit boards and that's how they like are held in place with the two contacts. Well, this ferrule, as you see the, the three things on the bottom, what they do is they get slipped into the, um, what would normally be the through hole, um, the plated through hole in the circuit board that you would plug the mechanical key switch into. Instead, when these get soldered in, the switch becomes removable because there's little grippies on the inside. You see kind of in the middle there on the second switch, um, there's little grippies inside that will grab onto the rectangular tabs of the switch and hold them mechanically in place but still allow you to remove them. Um, these are designed to be used with Cherry MX and compatible switches, which you can also get at DigiKey. Um, what's really nice about Cherry MX compatible switches is they all have this kind of thing going on, on the bottom. You see there's like a big circular mechanical, you know, placement knob and then there's two um, rectangular pins and those pins are what are the switch. You know, they're normally opened when the switch is pressed, uh, they're closed. Uh, they're closed together in contact. Uh, so this is a circuit board layout for Cher Cherry MX switches. Um, and you can see there's, you know, LEDs and stuff. But basically, you've got the two pins, you've got the hole, and if you have those, uh, you can use these MX switches. And these have been used for decades. These are very old switches. Um, they've been used for a very, very long time. And so uh, traditionally, when you get a keyboard um, or a macro pad or something that uses these Cherry MX switches, a control surface, um, they're soldered in. So this is what it looks like uh, on the bottom. This is like a, a Neo key. Uh, Trinkey. This is one of the few boards we have where the, you would solder the key in directly, and you see that center hole again where the switch goes through, and um, the two pads where the mechanical switch um, is soldered into. So this is work great. You know, people have been soldering in these switches into you know mechanical key slots for a very long time. Um, I've got keyboards with Cherry MXs that, again, historically decades of use. However. Uh, there's now like dozens and dozens of different types of Cherry MX compatible switches available. And it could be that you have a circuit board that's designed for, you know, Cherry MX, but you want to use uh, Gaterons or Kales or, you know, Milks or, or Jades or whatever you want. And uh, it could be also that you want to be able to change out what switch is used. Because, for example, on my keyboard, I have linear red keys, but some people really want tactile browns or they want clicky blues. Well, what would you do? Well, if you were using um, a chip, you would use a socket like this, right? This is a dip socket, and we've, we've talked about these before. Um, you solder these in, and they, they mechanically go into the same holes that a dip um, switch or dip chip go into. But what's nice is that then you can, you know, fairly easily uh, remove the dip chip, and you can easily replace it if it gets damaged or burnt out, or if you want to uh, try a different chip or whatnot. So what do you do for Cherry MXs? Well, you know, in the last few years, it's been this invention of the Cherry MX socket. And these, uh, this is a kale socket. Gateron also makes sockets that are compatible. And these get soldered onto the bottom of a PCB. Um, and you, you can't use the same layout, right? It's a different layout for these because you have these big SMT pads. As you can see the four sockets in the middle there. But if you have a modified layout for these sockets, um, then you can see the two holes uh, you can plug in the Cherry MX into the holes and they're mechanically held in place. So again, you need to have a new layout. So this is like a layout showing there's no through holes, um, plated through holes. Instead, there's two SMT pads where the socket uh, pick and places on and then you know creates the two holes that the switch goes into. So if you're making a new design and you have the space using these pick and placeable Kale sockets is great for mechanical keyboards, but like I said, there are some cases where you have a board that already has 
you know, it's already been designed, you can't change the layout or you're, you're reworking an existing board, you want to change um, the switches out. In that case, that's where you would use these Milmax sockets because they're actually so thin that they can be uh, put into the PCB that has already been designed with the standard Cherry MX through hole, um, uh, plated through holes, uh, holes, pads. And this gets soldered in. Uh, That's cool. In, yeah, it's like it's so skinny that it can go in and yet still have enough clearance for to let you plug in the socket. Sorry, the switch into the socket. There's a lot of S's here. Um, so they come in different lengths and if they're open bottom. So, you know, the switch, even if you have switches with different length pins, they're not like closed bottom where it can bottom out. It, it goes straight through and you can see inside there's two little grippies that are, there are a couple different grippies that will grip onto um, the rectangular tab of the switch. Um, so there's been previous versions of this, I think 03, 0305s and 7305s. But these ones are a little bit better quality. They're getting better at um, the top of the fairing roll is thinner. These are gold plated. Um, they're beryllium copper. They're very good quality sockets. So they're they're quite nice. Um, they'll last a very long time. Uh, they're good for you know any um, high end or just uh, hobbyist desires for uh, replaceable switch sockets. Um, another thing that I thought was kind of nice is although the ones I got came loose, you can get these uh, pick and placeable. So you could pick and place them into your design and then um, with a little bit of solder paste on the pads, you could have it be um, you know, soldered in place automatically by your pick and place line. Or you can do it by hand, either way. Um, so I thought I would, you wanna show the part number and then we'll show yeah, the overhead. Yeah, so it's on DigiKey, cause INMPI is brought to you by DigiKey, made of fruit. And yes, and they have it in go stock. There. Uh, there's a giant uh, product ID. You wanna use a short URL. In the chat. Or just search for Milmax 330. Or search for Milmax. Which is easy to get, find. Get you what you want. And so uh, we have two things. We can do the overhead, and then you also send me a video. Yes, I have a, a great little uh, demo All that right. I can show. Okay, great. So this is uh, the Neo Key Trinky. So again, this is one of our only designs that you would solder in the switch. And the reason you had to solder in the switch is because it's just so packed. There literally wasn't um, enough space to put in a socket because the sockets are, are quite large as what the, the sockets look like. So you see, they're quite big. Uh, they wouldn't fit on the bottom of this PCB with all the other circuitry. And so, um, focus lock. Uh, so for this, you would solder it in. Now, normally you would solder it in and it would be permanently connected. But with this one, I have soldered in the Milmax 3305. And so you can barely see it, but there's this very slight uh, bump. That's the top of the ferrule. And then it goes through to the bottom and you can see here uh, how it sticks out. I just did it, put a little bit of solder in and then uh, it works very well. You know, you, you plug it in, it's mechanically secure, uh, but then when you give it a yank, it can come out and you can switch out your Cherry MX switch. Now, you're probably like, look, Lady Ada, I'm not obsessed with keyboards the way you are right now. So what what is this good for if I'm not into that? This is good for anything, right? So uh -huh. even though I'm using this for Cherry MX switches, um, you can make custom sockets for Nixie tubes or specialized sensors that are not on a 0.1 inch grid or really anything that has, um, you know, through hole parts, but you don't want to solder in because it's expensive or because it gets damaged or because you want to try uh, different versions. Um, what's nice about this is it doesn't stick up. You know, there's a very, very, yeah. very slight bump, but you pretty much get to have it sit flat. And again, as long as the hole is, I think, 0.06, or 60 mil, um, it it goes in the hole, but you can also solder into it. So you can have like a mix and match design, or you could have it be socketed, or you can solder it directly, but without that height change of the dip socket. Yeah. So I thought this is a very interesting and useful part, not just for keyboards, but for other mechanical uses where you want to swap out expensive sensors or components. And Milmax made a video, we're gonna play it. As a product design engineer, you know that connectors play a critical role in the electrical system of any product you design. It is not the place to take shortcuts, and a good connector can help avoid costly repairs and recalls down the road. When you design your next product, consider the Milmax receptacle first. The quality and reliability of our two-piece construction delivers maximum performance and durability in every application, including challenging or rugged environments. Our receptacles are precision machined for ultimate reliability of critical components across a wide variety of industries, including aerospace, military, medical, just about anywhere product failure is not an option. 
The Milmax two-piece receptacle design allows for the widest mating pin acceptance range, the largest variety of shapes, sizes, and materials, and multiple contact points to ensure a dependable connection every time. Pin receptacles are typically the backbone of any interconnect system, so why settle for anything less than the maximum in performance, reliability, and flexibility? The predictable quality of a Milmax interconnect can play a fundamental role in determining your product's performance. With almost 45 years of experience working with suppliers all over the world, consider specifying Milmax receptacles into your design, sooner rather than later, and ensure the optimal solution for the unique requirements of your application. That is this week's Ion MPI. Thank you, Milmax. Hi, on MPI.